welcome back to my channel for those of you guys that do not know me my name is Danetta or you guys can call me treasure okay so let's get right into this video I'm so excited to be here make sure you guys like comment and subscribe no just kidding okay so um how y'all feeling this hair isn't it so cute still uh it's a little poofy I did wet it but um this shit is not glued down and I give two fucks okay two fucks y'all know a shit open so anyway let's go ahead and move move past that so um welcome back to my channel i'm so happy to see you guys today's video as you guys already seen down below it's gonna be about how to manifest your dreams okay so uh, a lot of you guys, if you haven't already heard about manifestation, manifestation is basically something that you do with your tongue, your mouth. Manifestation is all about visualizing, actually speaking it out of your mouth, what you want to happen and what you want to become. So let's say, for example, you know, this is just an example. You want to manifest a thousand dollars. Um, you either say it out loud and you like, basically you claim it. I want to put this as, um, a disclaimer in no way is manifestation. In my opinion, I don't care what nobody else say. As long as you think in God above for the credit and you put in God and everything that you do, I don't believe that manifestation is bad or wrong. So... Sorry, my allergies is all over the place. But coronavirus! Coronavirus! But I don't believe that manifestation is bad. Manifestation is actually very helpful. And a lot of people use it. They've been using it for years and years, okay? So, let's say you want to manifest $1,000, okay? And you end up writing it down on a piece of paper and saying, I want to make one thousand dollars and i will be getting it by it's may right now so let's say by june 15 2020 when you are manifesting you must be very specific you have to be very specific if you are not specific you still might get what you want but it won't be exactly what you want so Make sure it's specific. If you're looking for a husband or something like that, you need to be very specific with what you want in your husband. Do you want him to be, you know, six feet two? Do you want him to be five foot one? You know, do you want him to have different? What are the characteristics of the husband that you want? Do you want him to be, you know, five? Um, do you want him to be like super loyal to you do you want him to be like family oriented whatever it is you want you need to make sure that you're writing it down and or you put it on your vision board so that also applies to men as well if you want to manifest your dream wife or your dream girlfriend make sure you write down the characteristics that you want her to have if you want her to be you know very beautiful smart make sure you're writing that down if you want her to be very well educated make sure you're writing that down that you want her to be educated and then you need to make sure you just be extremely specific no matter what so it goes for both ways boys men whatever women whatever it's the same i know i keep swinging this around but y'all gonna see me swing this shit all the way around no, i'm just kidding all right let me stop playing okay so back to this so also regarding the thousand dollar check i would also recommend that you guys write it down on a check write it down on a check what's a better way you finna go cash that right you want to go cash that thousand dollar check like i said that's just an example you can put whatever number you want to whatever it is put it down on a little blank check if you don't have a checkbook or anything you can go online print it out and write it out write it out to yourself what's your name Donetta Clark payable to yeah Donetta Clark the amount $1,000 and some change or whatever and then you need to put that date on there cash by this date you know literally write it out a check to yourself I have done it multiple times and I can give you 
my testimony that it actually works. I've done it before. And I'm like, I don't know how I'm going to get this thousand dollars. You know, like I said, it's like that, but I don't know how I'm going to get this thousand dollars. I don't know where it's going to come from, but I'm going to get it. Okay. I'm getting it. Have no doubts about what you want, whether, whether it's a car, money, a family, you know, peace, love, whatever. Make sure you have no doubt. After you write it down, you have to say, I want this. And then you need to tell yourself that you're going to get it. Have absolutely no doubts in your mind. If you're doubting yourself and saying like, oh my God, I don't think I'm going to get this. But I'm going to just do it anyway. You're not going to get it. Sorry, you're not going to get it. It ain't going to come to you because you don't even believe yourself that you're going to get it. So how is the universe going to follow the request that you're asking of the universe the universe is not going to listen to you if you don't care so make sure you have no doubts at all at all and then after that's done you need to just forget about it that's it just forget about it let it go away and then you'll become it'll come back to you you're gonna get a check it'll you might win a lottery however it is like i said it could come in so many different ways let me give you an example I did get into a car accident and that's how I got my money not too long ago I was telling myself like I really didn't have no money and I was just doing real bad I was struggling so I'm not ashamed to say it I was struggling I needed some money and I was already working but I still I'm a single parent so I needed money I decided that I wanted to manifest some money so I said I will be getting two thousand dollars by the end of it was like three months from that date no 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 i'm lying i said i will be getting money within the next month okay and i was extremely specific and i said i will be getting two thousand dollars by such and such date and i don't know how i'm gonna get it but it's going to come to me so i do want y'all to be aware that you know Everything ain't sugar sweet and all of that. So how you get it may not be how you want it. So don't play with the universe. Don't play with it because it will give you what you ask for. Okay, so that's why you must be very specific in what you want, okay? And maybe you should be specific in how you want it to come to you, okay? Whether it be a raise at your job or a donation or you find it, okay? Okay, so moving on. I ended up doing Uber Eats and so I ended up getting into a car accident long story short that was me getting my two thousand dollars from the car accident granted my car was fucked up at the end of the day but i still ended up getting my two thousand dollars that i needed in order to take care of my business and i it it happened the next day the exact next day and i'm a very very good driver I'm not going to sit up here saying like I went and was doing all this because of my son is in the car with me and I don't want to, you know, harm my child. But this was something that I'm just like, I was shocked. I was like, oh my God, I said I wanted this. But I was like, I was so mad when I found that I got a car, when I got into the car accident, I was so mad. But at the same time, later on, once it all dwindled down, I still was upset because my car it was a brand new car that I bought. And I'm like, oh, this now is messed up. But... I have the money now and I need the money more than the car still works so manifestation really does work guys and like I said there's so many occasions where I got what I wanted also recently I did just get a job where I'm gonna be working with the city guys yay I'm so excited but I manifested this shit out of this job okay it took a long time and you got to put in the work and you got to make sure that you're doing everything you need to do as well. You cannot just sit on your ass and not do nothing. You have to put in the work, guys, if you want it to also work. You can't just say like, oh, I want $1,000 and you're not doing absolutely nothing towards it to get it. Put in the work as well, okay? You have to put in the work. I said I wanted to find my career job. And I put in the work. I didn't just sit there and expect it to come to me. I went and was looking for different jobs with the city, with the government, whatever. I was looking for top jobs that I really wanted to do. Okay? And so, I put the work in and I got it. So, right now, I just want to share with you guys my 
experience with my vision board i don't care to show it so i want you guys to see um it is a little messed up but that's because my son had he was playing around long story short okay but the first thing i put on here so how to make a vision board all you need is a back a long poster board you could get that anywhere from target 99 cents store i went to the 99 cent store and got a big old piece of um, paper poster board and started away you could use magazines you could print out paper if you have a printer print out a piece of paper uh look for the stuff that you want and be specific in what you want okay and we'll go from there so i'm gonna bring it closer okay so like i said guys um, it is a little messed up, but it's still my vision board. So I wanted to put on their power because I want to be a figure where I have a lot of power. Like, you know, I feel sometimes that I don't have power and I wanted to have power and remind myself that I have a lot of power in myself so that I can also empower my child. Um, also, I wanted to be successful so i wanted to put success on there print it out all of that what is this saying right here it's saying i will receive a lump sum of money and i will be financially stable forever okay this is partially what i was talking about because i made this june 8th in 2019 i'm telling y'all this is no joke I said I will receive a lump sum of money and I will be financially stable. What happened was I ended up getting into that car accident and I ended up getting $2,000 like I said. It didn't make me financially stable forever, but that's cool. But I know where the other part is coming from and I don't want to speak on it right now because it hasn't came yet, but I know exactly where it's going to be coming from. Okay. so. This part right here, of course, who doesn't want love in their life? So I put love on there. I don't really have a lot of friends, as I kind of mentioned, but I know a lot of people, but I just don't hang out with people. So I want to learn how to be a little bit more outgoing and be with all my friends and be happy. That's why they all smiling and they all together and like have a real bonded of relationship with of friends and I did ended up getting that but me being me an introvert I just kind of like stopped talking to people so I need to work on that but then I also have trust because I have trust issues sometimes with a lot of people because I've been fucked up in the past as you already heard from my story time so I want to have a lot of trust and be able to regain trust and rebuild it from friendships relationships business whatever and I've always had God in my life, so that's never been a really big problem for me. But I just wanted to, I had kind of ventured off a little bit where I wasn't focused on God. And I wanted to bring him back in my life where I'm talking to him, I mean, every day. And God is a part of everything and anything that I do. So I put God on there, the cross. Of course, I want happiness because um, during those times, I just was not happy. I was going through a lot. I was stressed out. And, like, I can honestly say that I am so happy right now in my life. I am so happy. And God has been in my life. I, have, I trust people more than what I did before because you have to be able to trust somebody, okay? Um, but yeah, I'm, I've been so happy. And then, then as you guys can see down here, this is a part of what I was talking about. I did want to be a probation, but at the same time, I didn't want to be a probation. So I put a girl with like a badge on. And that's a part of what I'm going to be doing, working with the city in the LAPD. So it's just so crazy how it's coming true. And then over here, I want to jump down to here. Like I said, it's kind of ripped up, but... I'm going to take better care because I'm going to do a new one. But this one says, I will have the career I've been waiting for. And I finally have got it. And I'm just so happy. I'm so happy. Happiness. Okay? And then fitness. I've been struggling so much with fitness. 
and I know a lot of people struggle. That's why I have like my little fitness journey still going on. I'm still eating healthy. I stray so far away sometimes, but I've been bringing myself back now so that I'm not going too far away. And then here, of course, as you guys already know, I love seafood. So I was telling myself, like, is it really possible to eat seafood every day? Like, really, girl? You gonna eat seafood every day? But yeah, I really do like seafood a lot. So I don't see why it would be a problem for me to eat seafood every day. And then this one, I think it says, what is that? Style. I wanted to, um, I've always been somebody who likes to dress up and look real cute. But since I haven't been feeling myself, since I've been like, you know, gained a lot of weight and stuff. So I wanted to bring back my style to bring back my confidence and be a lot more uh, cute when I go out and look good. Shit. Okay, so the next right here, it says it's our time to heal. And this goes back to my trust issues and all the different struggles that I went through, like in my relationship, my past relationships and stuff. It's time to heal, okay? And I have healed so much. It's just crazy. I've healed so much and I'm just so proud of myself. Here we have a picture of this beautiful black woman and I made sure that she was the darkest skin as possible because she represents every black woman in the world. Why? Because she's a dark skinned woman and it's hard to be black in America. I'm sorry, but it just really is. And a black woman at that. A lot of people look down on us. A lot of people don't respect us. And a lot of us feel like, you know, we are not supported in jobs and in a lot of things. And so I was not feeling as confident in my own skin. And I wanted to put her on here because she represents who I want to be confident black woman, which I am now. I'm a beautiful black confident woman. And I teach that to all my nieces. Whenever I see them, my nephew, I try to tell them that and I tell my son that every day. And people who I come in contact. So lose weight, feel great. That goes back with the fitness. And then I put on there stacks of money, which I have been constantly getting like a lot of lump sums of money, which is so good. Okay, moving down, taking the lead. Um, I honestly don't know why y'all put that on there, but shit. I guess I want to be able to take the lead, okay? And then um, marriage, I do want to get married one day, but I want to be able to have happiness and trust, okay? And loyalty, and I think those are one of the main reasons I put that on there. And then I put like a beautiful family. I don't know if I want to have that many kids, but basically this picture represents black love. A black father, a black mom with beautiful black children. And not saying that dating outside your race, that there's anything wrong with that. I don't see anything wrong with that. But I do want to marry an, a black man. But who knows? God may have something completely different in store for me. I might not even marry a black man. I might marry somebody that's white or Hispanic or whatever. So, I don't discriminate. <laughs> okay, and then over here. Oh, this is so this is cool okay so I messed up but okay so I put a house that I would like to live in and I put on their home for sale and I make sure that the sign says sold because I will be buying a house and sorry y'all y'all can't have this house right here because it's sold I bought it already so this is where I really really want to get and I know I'm gonna get it so um yeah I am going to create a new manifestation board vision board whatever you guys want to call it just make it your own of course it's not going to look you know kind of messed up like this but i did this in 2019 of june yeah make you guys a vision board okay guys so i really hope that you guys enjoyed this video i hope what i said makes sense so i just want to recap write down what you want to happen if it's a check write it down on the check write it on the money order okay write it down on a piece of paper write it in your phone and then say it out loud that's number one number two 
make sure you don't have any doubts with what you're saying. If you have doubts, then it's not the universe is not going to honor your request. Okay? Number three, make sure you claim it and say it is done. And it is done. And after you say that, forget about it. Don't think about it anymore. Okay, it might come up in your mind again, but just, you know, chew it away because you don't want to have any doubts. Okay? And then lastly, wait and be patient. You might get it the next day. You might get it the same day. It might be a year from now, but you will get it. Okay? And don't give up on it. Oh, and make sure you're putting in the work. Put the work in. If you don't put the work in, you won't see any results. And always thank God. Always thank God, especially if you believe in God. I know I don't want to put that on people because some people don't believe in God or whatever. But believe in, believe in God because he is real, okay? If you don't believe in, it's a lot of stuff that people believe in and people don't believe in. But put God first, no matter what. So, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Yeah. Alright, so make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification button. And I'll see y'all later. Bye.